Listen, I wasn't always one man and his Fuji, you know. I used to be one man and his cannon. Do you want to know why I switched? Let's find out. Lee! Yeah? Happy shooting with cannon, are we? Yeah, it's okay. You don't look too convinced. Oh, you make your bed and you lie in it. Do you want to be cool like James Bond? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, ditch the cannon. It's shit. Get yourself a Fuji X Pro One. But it's like nine years old, isn't it? That can we? Yes, but it has the original x sensor that renders images with a magical film-like quality. Oh, okay. Sounds good. But, Sean, didn't Bond shoot with a Leica? That was purely for product placement purposes. Off camera, he used a Fuji X-Pro1. What, in the 60s? Listen, in Hollywood, anything is possible. I thought the uh, majority of them were filmed at Pinewood Studios. Lee? What? Fuck off. How rude. One man and his Fuji. So, there you go. The reason I switched to Fuji was simply because the spirit of Sean Connery told me that if I did, I would be cooler than James Bond. So why else did I switch? Oh yeah, here's six reasons why I switched and why you should switch to Fuji. Listen, nobody's going to notice the continuity errors, okay? I've got it covered. I've got this um, YouTube lark down to a T. No problem. What? So here are the six reasons I primarily switched from Canon to Fuji. Okay, so number one. The retro analog aesthetic. Perfect. Everybody loves to twiddle dials and to play with knobs. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more about the hands-on control. That really drew me in, the hands-on control. Um, I do believe that this is one of the main reasons why many people switch. Number two, Fuji lenses. What can we say about Fuji lenses? We've got the Compact Primes, the F2, Trinity, um, zoom lenses, the brilliant kit lens, 18 to 55 kit lens, um, the better um, 16 to 55 zoom. We've got everything. We've got the latest um, F1.0, 50 millimeter. The, the lenses are great. If you want heavy lenses, you've got heavy lenses. If you want the Compact Primes, You've got the compact primes. There's something for every profession, whether you're a wedding photographer, um, a portrait photographer, a street photographer, uh, a landscape photographer. There's, there's, there's something for everybody with, with the Fuji lenses and highly recommended. Number three, um, these are in no particular order, by the way. Fujifilm simulations. What can we say? Fuji have had 85 years experience of colour science. The Fuji guys, they know their shit when it comes to these things. There's no denying their heritage. So don't let other people put you off saying, oh, they're just glorified uh, colour presets. They're certainly not. I know many people who earn a living purely by shooting uh, Fujifilm JPEGs with the film simulations. Number four, JPEGs. Following on 
from uh, number three, straight out of camera, Fuji JPEGs. Again, regarded as some of the best JPEGs in the business. Trust me, if Leonardo da Vinci was alive now, he'd be JPEGing the shit out of the Mona Lisa, for certain. Number five, the, the ability to create your own custom film simulation recipes. Uh, brilliant site, link down below, Fuji X Weekly. He has tons of uh, recipes for you to try. Check him out, give them a go. Another great reason to switch to Fuji. And lastly for me, number six, Let's face it, you do look cool. Cool when shooting with a Fujifilm camera. Basically, when you're out on the street, personally, from personal experience, if somebody sees your Fuji camera, they're gonna say to you, you're cool as fuck. Note to self, try not to make a YouTube video with your cat in the same room. Salem, say hello. Everybody, this is Salem. Very lucky to be alive. His mother was set on fire, but they managed to rescue him through cesarean section. And he is now the proud owner of a Fuji user as his father. And he loves to bite my hand. Go, feline quadruped, be gone. Okay, so now do we switch back to the other version of me from one week ago? They'll never notice, no. Let's face it, they're a bit stupid, aren't they really? So, there you go. Six excellent reasons why you should also switch it to Fuji. Don't just take my word for it. Here are some real life switching stories from around the world. Having shot with Nikon for over 50 years, I began to wonder, is this the source of my back problems? After all, I have had three major back surgeries. Then I switched to Fuji, and by golly, now I'm able to carry two extra flasks of tea, eight scones with clotted cream, and a copy of War and Peace. G'day, mate. Photographing the most dangerous animals in the world like these sheep behind me, can be really difficult if you're lugging around a hefty DSLR like the Canon 5D. But after switching to Fuji, if I'm ever attacked by one of those vicious beasts, I'm confident I can escape faster than Skippy the bush kangaroo. <laughs> Shooting possums all day and having intercourse with pigs ain't much fun these days. Occasionally I'd use my Aunt May's Polaroid camera to take pretty little pictures of my girlfriend Ellie Sue. Recently for my birthday, my brother's cousin, who was also my father's sister, bought me one of those Japanese cameras, and now my mom's brother's marrying his son's daughter, and they wants me to photograph the whole darn thing. For me, the only downside to the Fuji X system is the autofocus performance in video. Uh, in photography, it's up there with, you know, Sony, Canon, maybe not so much when it comes to uh, eye detect autofocus. But yeah, autofocus in video can be a bit hit and miss depending on uh, which lens you choose to use. I'm currently using the 18 to 55 kit lens which does a decent job of tracking face tracking so um, I'm happy with it there is worse <coughs> excuse me um, but yeah no the only negative autofocus but trust me it's it's up there with the best so there you have it thank you very much for watching I do hope that I've helped you make um, your mind up in regards to switching to Fuji. But regardless of which camera system you choose, just get out there, have fun and take great 
photos. That's all that matters. And for those of you that have already made the jump to Fuji, let me know in the comments below exactly what it was that drew you in to the Fuji X system. Also, if you did like the video, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell and until next time, it's ciao for now. <laughs>